is I think it's this isn't some yeah, hyperbole. Yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, when, when the world opens pretty, back up, plan everything out pretty obviously on paper, solve it 100 percent, and then do it. I think the words are kind of somewhere in between. They they might break stuff in the background and build it all really really quickly, but they definitely seem to be moving pretty quick a bit. They're definitely more conservative. So I don't think it's the same stuff on different files. The news at this point is just kind of rapid development. Yeah, which you should as they intended for these ones. They have not run. I don't get the kind of plan to show things. Sam Adams, who knows what this is? New Orleans didn't blue origin land a rocket, which happens to happen. By far the best rocket. You have to have qualifications. The rockets have been landed from the possible year. So, you know, for instance, the lunar lander was a rocket that landed on the moon. So, that happened. You also have programs that have DCX and a lot of other vertical takeoff and space exploration. Pretty darn high. And Carl, there's a lot. I think there's still about two Blue Origin was the first major fuel rocket to look up across the common line and propose kind of compares the architecture and how only Apollo a month or two later was the first company to have an orbital class rocket. Really tricky to fuel rocket. And we'll get deeper into the cost of the hardware. You can scream at me all you want. Day and night about how obviously orbital is a lot different. We'll talk about it. But then you can be like, oh, that's the you know, first stage of Falcon 9 isn't orbital, it's only a suborbital kind of portion of the orbital class rocket. And then we'll look at whatever. So to so the point is, Starship is almost knocked out of the park. And they both like these absolutely large flares. Just nails the first landing. First and second time, they were like, it's really cool. And anyone who tries to nitpick the two apart is not giving credit to the other first Starship. Each of them is doing something is is fully uh, to get to their, their own company it is a, and, and, and in their own unique way it's an incredible thing to happen the great thing is that the scale of the two is massive and different than the new new shepherd is not much bigger than the other the building up ramping up and only on the four stories tall sustainable still a big rock but in my opinion keep in mind that less actually sustainable options had of our state should be a big of an end and ready to go but then remember done the search that you know when once so the next that's for the original go from the size of the first one that's less than that's to him to the next figure out that is the first stage being bigger on not very big it's first two stage and now we're at the stage that this is so they're kind of leaving for that and then the start stage will be bigger than new plan could be the first that was the first stage super heavy the moon is the moon bigger than new plan so we're not leapfrogging each other it's really exciting a lot of time to be alive of course blue origin has yeah, but, but, um, spoken about a new Armstrong <laughs> version that will be a, uh, a super heavy lifter. A lot of venting that will likely be something that they try to use to make a starship. So it's just exciting times, and we all that'll probably be drafted. But good question, Sam. How much do rockets do? Um, uh, Attila Barigi uh, is the 20th of May 27th launch launched instantaneous. What is the launch date? I can't tell if the temperature is going to be scoped by the time to a very hot topic. Kind of way Basically, to all SpaceX, almost every yeah, single SpaceX mission yeah, like is instantaneous yeah, because of their wand wand. Uh, they left half super chill to the your coin to fall Now, share. they do sometimes have launch windows, but once they start yeah, fueling, yeah, yeah, they pretty yeah, much are committed to an instantaneous launch window. So, SpaceX is already very intimate. Thank you, Carl. Every CRS mission we've ever seen is basically an instantaneous launch window. If you look at that, just because it's an instantaneous launch window, it's not really the end of the rocket. I think you're um, the end, end of the road, and it's way is more likely to, to minus two hundred. I have to a, scrub. I have a this, this is really this is a little different. I've never really least, seen you know, uh, well beyond minus uh, this event. We may have to do some more stuff. It, it's uh, very, very, very. Hopefully that shuts yeah. before um, it would not be good. We're not going to touch any liquid fuel. Exactly. You don't want to touch any liquid fuel. Just kind of pretty though. Just because it's painting. Besides our people, you can see it. Maybe don't drink it. Yeah, the I'm more worried about the bigger. Don't be too worried about Scrabgenic DM2 is the fact that now they have to worry about the entire list of files the extra density second stage base to make sure that the C stage along the path of the rocket are safe so that if there was an abort, they can save you from the crew. So you can't have any major swells or any major C systems along the path of the rocket at some point it's going to fail to do it first. Like, almost half orbit all the way until it goes over Europe. 
and stuff. Um, and they have to study the swing states. And that's, to me, that has that carry And I that ends up being a lot more prone to whatever you want to Yeah, good question. Devin, thank you for the membership. Zach Hemmick, something. Hey, Tim, what's the best whole thing? I that doesn't seem like that. I don't know the best. I think I think Rachel and Jean for staying up also to run this camera for me are also. As long as they have the team at NASA Space, but unfortunately their their feed got shut down tonight. They're also the best. Mary, who worked so hard for them as well, and of course you know Lab Padre with their team as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool people in the aerospace industry. In the well, not in the aerospace industry. Team aerospace. I don't really associate myself with any of the time these tests. So we get really involved. I'm just a avid foamer. But thank you. Ben Sanford, thanks for the pair. Tom Murphy, do you have a manager for me? Let's see. Mobius Horizon, thank you so much. Jesse Levine, last time for Sheer. Thanks, Tim, for making it interesting to watch Payne try to keep up the good work. Thank you. After Hopefully, we see some things. Exciting stuff happening here pretty soon. That'd be awesome. really hoping to see it. It seems to me that the thing that is continuing to be on any parts of the stage of the membership brought me today. I work with methane every day. And the slow when timing of my fueling process is critical for even <laughs> <laughs> in order to <laughs> mitigate <laughs> and when to wrap a lot of what I love. We have someone that knows what they're talking about. Everything about everything yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, yeah. again, uh, surely a drop post about drop says slow timing of the fueling process is critical for even cooling in order to mitigate stress. So basically, fill it at a certain rate. Testing the dome. Shock our test. test. Hey yeah. Tim, what do you th what do you all think about all these joints, joints yeah. all these rocket well, pipes, and all these things well, first because you launch it? Chilling them too quick, so you have to kind of say, you know, the items that honestly have to see us in order to be definitely not handling the shock test. That will be neat too. I'd love to do it. Absolutely bonkers. Mobius Horizons, a bunch of people are worried about the yellow looking smoke. It's just smoke illuminated by a yellow light. Yes. Yeah. So we'll see. I think under structure. Yes, there is a yellow light. Light, so we, kind of in between Starship. There's a couple yellow lights. Get that smoke is not, <laughs> again, it's not smoke. It is just straight up uh, condensation of rockets. Everyone is basically clouds forming from these really, really, really cool air. That would be why there is a lot of space on the side fence. And there's a yellow, like, sulfur light kind of almost underneath Starship, and it will occasionally make the clouds look kind of yellow. Just like when, when these uh, condensation clouds move in front of the flame on the right, they also will look yellow on the right. So if you are down like one scatter like when you can travel again, go down and visit South Padre Island and take surf lessons with them, because they are great. And it's a lot of fun. And South yeah, Padre Island apparently is actually one of the an awesome place to surf. Okay. Um, like um, the golf Fox uh, Pup. Uh, uh, thanks very much. Fox Pup. A real EV pickup made in Iowa. Really cool. Gotta have an eight-foot bed. I think it does. I think it's a full size Okay. So we're waiting for that flare. Once that flare really starts getting big. Six and five. My new estimates for that one. Okay. Good call. I think any part is pointing that out. Fan from pretty big uh, and zeal uh, thing the same way. Uh, <laughs> it's awesome. I, I need to make it to I've never been to the Cleveland. Thanks for the membership. Blake, the Savage. Hey, like, 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 Tim, what are your thoughts on the I guess I'm not going to be Are they out cube beer? I don't know. I've never done this time later. And we'll do a little bit of beer. Out cube beer. I don't know. It would probably be a great addition to your rocket engine series. Unfortunately, it's so. I'd like to go hypothetical. It's basically a warp drive that. That they're working on, but it's one of those things. It's, it's being studied, and they're working on basically how do you bend space time. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anywhere near enough information or beyond the stages of just initial studies. Um, anything uh, out there? Uh, here we go. Uh, hot truck guy I just got home. Here we go. To be honest, we really have no idea. But really. 
Um, right now, it's just a study. It's not really an engineer. It's not going to be an engineer until they know how to exploit cloud is just condensation. And we see that with all rockets. So at this point, I think I think it'll make it feel like it's the biggest thing that's ever happened ever, especially when you're liquid oxygen. There's an oxidizer. There's a big flare. I believe that's about two minutes, two to three minutes, I think. See, big flare there. Told you there'd be a big flare. Okay. So it's because the liquid oxygen is very cool. In this case, liquid methane is also almost as cool as liquid oxygen. And liquid hydrogen is across going up on the side. So it's so cool. One minute that the condensate at the T minus one water drop get ready at the humidity comes in contact with it. It's going to happen very soon. It turns into little ice droplets, ice, and then it freezes some of that water vapor into clouds of condensation. And that's what all the smoke is. It's just actually kind of being definitely a cloud. You'll see that with pretty much any rocket launch. Okay, that big flare is good. That probably means that they are right. It's a long story. We'll get back to you guys' questions afterwards. God, that's a big flare. Yeah, I mean, if there's no frost on oh, the oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> See, some yep. oh, oh, there you went. Oh, oh, <laughs> good right. This is that. This is that. Yeah, it was. There you go. There you go. Was that a static fire? Were you able to hear anything? Oh, she, she might be taking photographs. Yeah, she, she might be busy did. right no, now. I was, I was able to hear it. Yeah? yeah. I was just trying to... Uh, did, uh, <laughs> did we get uh, clean uh, video? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But yeah, it didn't sound like... Heard it. Uh, yeah, it's still standing. It's still standing, guys. Michael, Michael says it's still standing. Most people want to be when I was in it. I know it's static. Mini player. Okay, sounded like what? About two or three seconds again. Very similar to last night. But yes, that is awesome. That is awesome. Another milestone. Another step towards the. 150 meter hop, another step towards Mark 5 making its way out there, potentially, another step towards the giant belly flop someday, so if you've been waiting to see some paint dry, okay, hey everyone, right now, say thank you to Rachel and Jean from S-Pod, because they are the ones, they are the heroes right now making this stream happen, so thank you Rachel and Jean, everyone say thank you Rachel and Jean, and be sure and follow them on Twitter at Space Padre Isle. They are awesome people. <laughs> Staying up very late for this for us. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. I hope you got that on slow too. I hope you got that on slow. Yeah, everybody hang on. That'll be cool. If not, no big deal. We have it here. But man, that was awesome. Something is happening. I mean, they got this. They get this thing figured out. The team in the B side. You just watch. They are teaming.